Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I did this lovely ladies makeup. This is Miss Anne. <laughs> I did a very soft look. I played with mauves and pinks on the eyes. I did like a liner across the waterline, mascara. Gave her a nice pink highlight. Um, contoured. Uh, she has on Drive-In by ColourPop on her lips. You know, very simple. But glam look. <laughs> I used the uh, BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette today to achieve this whole look, actually. Um, and I used the ColourPop liquid lipstick and drive in on her lips. So, yeah, if you guys would like to see how to achieve this look that I did on her, just keep on watching. All right, so let's get started. All right, I want to start by um, taking this lip scrub by Jeffree Star, the Velour Lip Scrub in the um, Spearmint. I'm going to um, put this on her lips. This is going to moisturize her lips while I'm doing her makeup. That's what it looks like. Now she's already moisturized. Her face is already moisturized. So I put on a lip scrub and this is just going to moisturize her lips the whole time while I'm doing her makeup. Alright. So I'm going to start by putting on a primer on her face and for priming I'm going to be using this NYX Angel Veil Primer so I'm going to take a little scoop of my hand like that much I'm going to be rubbing in my fingers and then just gently massaging in her face how's it feel? how's the pressure? good? okay <laughs> okay, so got that rubbed in. We're just gently rubbing this in. Next, I'm going to move on to her brows. And for brows, I'm going to be using this the Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to Go palette. Looks like this. Alright. I'm going to be taking my angled brush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a two-sided brush. And I'm just going to... First, I'm going to brush up her brow hairs. Keep them in place. She already has very arched brows, so it looks good. Alright, so I'm going to be taking this shade right here. Just like tap off the excess. Now, do you like your brows thick or do you like them thin? Thin. Thin? Okay. Well, we'll try to just follow the arch. <laughs> it's awkward for you. Alright, so we're just filling in the brow hairs. And I always start by doing brows first. First, it's just like one of my methods I follow. Cause I move on to um, I prime the skin first, then I do brows, then I do the eyes, then I move on to the face. So we're just smoothing the product. Alright, so we're keeping them very. Yeah, that helps. Keeping them very light, like she said. I'm just giving them a little bit of a tint. Because they were very sparse before. Alright, let's go on to the next one. Alright, so we're just filling in the brows. <laughs> Go talk if you want. <laughs> She's very nervous cuz. First time being on camera. Turn your face. So now I'm just seeing if they're even. I 
And what I do in the front is I just like to just gently make little brow um, hair like strokes in the front. I want to keep it very natural in the front. So we'll just deepen up them a little bit more. They're looking good. Just brush them up again. So to define the edges, I'm going to be taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. And so we'll just get the tip. We'll just define the edges with this. I really like this product because it already has an angle to it, so it's easy to just fill in the brow hairs um, the way you would like them to be filled in. Now we're keeping it very simple today. We're not going crazy, crazy because she doesn't like to do crazy, crazy looks. She let me know before I started. So we'll just yeah, throwing in them. A little bit more until I feel like they look good. See the little guys turn face to the camera? So I'm just like making like brow hair, brow like strokes, hair like strokes in the front, just to give a little bit of a more natural brow. <laughs> so now I'm gonna just clean up the brow here. Um, and for that, I'm gonna be. Do you guys say makeup wipe real quick? I'm be taking this NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette. Thank you. You just wipe off the. <laughs> wipe off the extra um, product. You can reuse your brushes, guys, as long as you make sure they're clean. Alright, so. Now I already use this palette a lot on my own clients. So I'm going to be taking, I'm going with this shade right here. I'm just going to be cleaning up the brows. Alright, so I like to start from underneath the brow hairs. And we'll just trace the brow hairs just to clean them up a little bit. And blend down. This will give a really clean brow. Okay. Okay. And if I feel like the brows are not to my liking, I'll clean them up first, and then I'll go back in with the the product and. I'll make them to my liking. So just taking a little bit more of the product. And I'm just going to clean up the top of her brows. See how that really just cleaned off and took off the excess? And we're just blending out the product now. This is a great brow highlight shade as well. Alright, just blending. Blend, blend, blend is the key. Major key. <laughs> right. What is the other one now? I'm going to take your time on the brows, guys. You don't want to rush it. Because if they not, brows are sisters, not twins. If they're not looking alike, then I don't know what you're doing with your brows. And always be gentle. Ask your um, client if it, you know, how's the pressure? Okay, so let's take a little bit more of the product. We're going to clean up underneath now. Alright, 
So now that the browser done, I'm just gonna set them and okay. To set that, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And we're just gonna comb through the brows. This is just gonna set them in place so they don't move and they stay all day. Alright, so. Clean up back in the knees because I want to clean up this a little bit more. Alright. If you see that your brows are looking a little bit uneven, go back in with the product and just, you know, fix it up. Alright, so now we're going to be moving on to the eyes. And for eyes, I'm going to be priming the lids with my MAC Soft Ochre Pink Pot. Okay. So I like to apply this with my fingers and just apply a light amount all over the lid and up to the brow bone. Uh, let's blend this one out with my fingers. That's just how I like to do it, guys. If you prefer blending it out with a brush, you do you. Um, open your eyes. I like to blend a little bit underneath as well. So if I'm putting on any shadow underneath, it'll help. Okay. See, that I get a nice base over the lid. I'm just blending on the other side. We're just blending, blend, blend, blend. That's the key. Open your eyes. Blend a little bit underneath as well. Looks crazy now, but it'll look better. <laughs> okay, so for eyes, I'm gonna be taking this the palette I gave you. Yeah, shadow palette I gave you. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna be taking this BH Cosmetics Curly Bible palette. Let's open it so you guys can see. Look how gorgeous it is. Okay. So I'm gonna be taking the color to apply all over her lid. Just to set that eyeshadow base. So I'm gonna be taking this one, the shade right here. You guys see, tap off the excess. I'm just gonna be putting it all over, all over the lid, just to set that eyeshadow base. Get a little bit more. So we're just setting the eyeshadow on base right now. And you just need to put like a very light amount all over. Just to make sure it's set. Okay. So we're gonna go in with um just a transition shade. And I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. These shades, they don't have names, so I'm just gonna be taking this shade right here. Tap off the excess. Gonna be blending this in the crease. taking this brush right here and I'm going to be going in with a brow bone highlight color and I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this. Finish this already. I'm putting this underneath the brow. That's going to give the brow a nice highlight. Alright. Now I'm going to be taking another brush. I'm taking this Murphy blending brush right here, and I think I'm gonna go in with this mauvey pink shade right here. Just a little bit of that. 
I'm putting this in the grease. Make sure you blend, guys. I'm taking this all the way in, the grease. Put it in all that speed. To deepen that up a little bit, I'm gonna be taking this like cranberry shade right here. See? And it's gonna be deepening up the piece again, once again. We're going a little V shape here. See, you guys can see the color is very pretty. We'll just deepen it up as we go. I really like this brush for blending because it really diffuses the, um, the eyeshadow in the crease. It doesn't make it so harsh, you know? A little bit more of that shade. I've never really played with this palette. It's really gorgeous. Just to give it a light, you know, wash of color. Now, I'm maybe going in with this deeper brown shade right here. And yes, we use the same brush. gonna be deepening up the crease a little bit more. Just keep it on the outer third of the eye. Close your eyes. Take a little bit more of that cranberry shade. And just, if you feel like it's not dark enough or deep enough, just go back in. You always can go back in with that shade. Just to blend it out. Go back in with that brow bone brush right here. Do you want to see me? Um, just, just, you know, if you feel like you lost some of that brow bone highlight color, go back in with that. For her lid color, <laughs> for her lid color, we're still using the same palette. I'm gonna be taking, um, I'm gonna be taking the shimmery pink shade right here. Put us. Let me pop in this on the lid. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty. Give me that pink shade. Always tap off the excess. And don't take that all the way up in the crease, just put it on the lid. See, we're using this like pinky tones. We're just very, doing a very light look right now. A light look, but still glam and pretty. Okay. Go back in with that blending brush right here. And a little bit more of this, um, mix this two together. Tap off the extra color. Blend. Take a little bit more of that, you know, shimmery shade. Just try to perfect the look if you feel like it's not, you know, Perfect it enough. Just try to perfect it. Go back in with that makeup wipe. Just clean up. Clean up. 
just to get that perfect, you know, line. You see? Okay, cute. <laughs> so now I'm gonna be taking. If I can find it, I'm gonna be taking mascara. Stay all day liquid eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a simple line across her waterline. Our lash line. Her lash line. If you feel like you messed up the line, just go back in with a little bit more of that lid shade. Taking a little bit more of that lid shade. This one right here. Oh guys. Just gonna be packing a little bit more on. So now I'm gonna be moving on to mascara. Mascara I'm gonna be using this um Two Face better than sex mascara. Let's <laughs> go better than sex. All right, I'm have you look down, Emmy. Look down. Mr. Emmy, straight. Now hold down here. Yeah. She has long, pretty eyelashes, so she said she doesn't want any falsies today. So I'm just gonna be doing her real lashes. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, and this is the shade Mocha. You guys see? Yeah. So I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. It's a few pumps. See? And I'm going to be taking um, just a Makeup Geek foundation brush. Stippling brush. We're just going to pounce this into the skin. Concealer. I'm going to be taking this LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Toffee. Can you guys see? So I'm just going to, you know, conceal all the areas I usually conceal, which is under the eyes, down the bridge of the nose, forehead, Cupid's bow, chin area. So, a little bit. A little bit. On the bridge of the nose, chin area, I mean the forehead area, and then keep it slow, and then chin. Feels heavy, but it, it'll, it'll work out. Um, and we're going to be taking this damp beauty blender right here. Spraying it with Fix Plus. That helps the product blend out more. Blending brush, blend it out. 
All right, so now we're gonna be baking a little bit. I'm gonna be taking a Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder, setting powder. I'm gonna dust a little bit into the cap. See, have a little bit in the cap. Now, just take that beauty blender that you used, go in with it, and you're just gonna be baking. Because Ann likes this part, right? The baking part. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, is she going to bake? <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to be moving on to contouring. It's a contour. I'm going to be using this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to be taking my contour brush right here by Makeup Geek. It's an angled contour brush. Can you guys see? It looks like that. Let me take in this shade right here. Why not? <laughs> see how that looks? Like this? Yeah. Do the, <laughs> gonna do the forehead a little bit. Yeah, see. I'm gonna contour the chin area. Give her a nice chiseled. Chin. So, to um, contour her nose, I'm going to be taking this in the same product right here, and I'm going to be contouring the nose lightly, just sweeping it down the bridge of the nose. So, now we're going to be dusting off the baking. I'm going to be taking this Too Faced. Miss the right brush right here. He's gonna be dusting off that baking. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna be going in with this big powder brush right here. And I'm gonna be taking this highlight shade in this palette. And it's gonna be highlighting underneath the eyes. Take a little bit more of that baking powder that we got here going on. Um, put a little bit more in the, in the cap. Just a little bit. Take the beauty blender. Go in with this. Turn on. Can you like this? Clean up the contour. So we're going to let that sit on underneath. Alright, so show me. Do this. Yeah. Okay, do this. Yeah. The BH Cosmetics Glamorous Blush 10 Color Blush Palette. Taking a blush brush by Morphe, and I think I'm gonna take mm, her eyes are a little mauvey, like a purpley color. Let's play with this color right here, guys. I don't know if this is gonna look good on her, but we'll just play. Smile. showing up how I want it to show up now I'll do a little bit more pinkier I'm gonna go in with this peachy shade right here yeah <laughs> 
And I like to blend out the blush with the contour just to make sure it blends all together. I just want a light flush. You don't want to put out too much down. Alright, so take that Mr. Right brush again. A Too Faced. And you can dust off that baking. And blend out everything together. <laughs> So now we're going to be moving on to the underneath the eyes. I'm going to be taking Smolder by MAC. That's a better pencil. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with that Carly Barber palette again. And I'm going to be taking this, uh, ber um, what do you call this shade? The Mauve Berry shade right here. I'm going to be putting it on the lower lash line. I'm going to be using this little Murphy brush right here. I love this brush for the lower lash line. So just dip it in the product a little bit. Let me take a little bit of that dark brown shade. No. <laughs> gonna be taking the MAC Extended Play Giga Black um, Mascara and I'm gonna be putting on her bottom lashes. <clears throat> Corners. I'm gonna go back into this palette and I'm gonna be taking this um, shimmery shade right here. Just put popping in the inner corner. For lips, I'm gonna be taking this um, ColourPop Cosmetics uh, liquid lipstick in the shade Driving. Lisa, how do you look your lips? Um, so this is the yeah. part where my uncle yeah, came yeah. in and he started knocking on my door and he's bothering me. So sorry about this, guys. Mm -hmm. So, so my camera died right after I was putting on the, um, the lipstick on Miss Anne. So here's the outro. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this look I did on her, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, I really like it. It's very like a mauve pinky look. Come closer so they can see you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so please give me a like, a comment, and share this video. And subscribe to my channel if you are not. I know I look crazy right now, but I just did her makeup. So, yeah. Um, until next time. Yeah. Bye, my loves. Alright, just so you guys know, I the ending I filmed on my phone because my camera died. So that's why it looks a little bit different from the other clips that you've seen um, in this tutorial. But thanks for watching, loves. Bye.